I'm Peter Venka, Chair of the recently formed Vic Catchments. Vic Catchments is a federation of 10 uh, catchment management authorities around Victoria. Some 20 years ago, the state government decided that the best way to manage land and water was to create statutory authorities known as catchment management authorities. These are regionally based around Victoria. They also created the Vic Catchment Management Council. This council provides high level advice to state government on matters relating to catchments. The catchment management authorities, known as the CMAs, are statutory authorities governed by boards, nine member boards which are largely skill based. Regional catchment strategies are important. They align local values with state and commonwealth uh, guidelines and uh, directions. They uh, incorporate the things that are important locally. Last year, a new policy came at a high level, which was called Our Catchments, Our Communities. And this further reinforced the need for cooperation and collaboration. And this has been the hallmark of catchment management work. And it allows us to work in an integrated catchment management fashion to achieve what's best for our catchments, the catchments that are so important right across Victoria. We work with uh, 10 catchment management authorities across Victoria and Melbourne Water and they use best available science and community knowledge to prioritise the most important sites in their region. We then prioritise across the catchment management authority boundaries to make sure we're looking after the most important statewide priorities so that we're getting our best environmental bang for buck. So through fisheries and through uh, water delivery, some of the research that's been done there has been really beneficial to the actual um, you know, the, uh, the anatomy of the river. Uh, which has been really good, the, the, the breeding of fish and, and also some of the riparian areas that's on the banks. Catchment management is huge, just even take one and it's just massive. And it's interesting now they're going into education as well and I think that's really good because it's helping people on the land, you know, not only farmers but land managers to get a say but to also learn new ideas as well. And now you understand the process of, of how and where that water comes from how it's monitored, how it's put into those particular areas and for what reasons. So uh, I think catchment management's great. The first time I come out the creek were dry and just looked horrible. Seeing it now, the wildlife, how green it looks, it just blows me away. Our cultural site's getting really, really looked after and I'm pretty happy with that. 